Hello, good, good morning, and welcome to Inside Sports here on TV3. My name is Michael Oteyo. Today, uh, we have news of major movement on the international coaching front with coaches changing clubs at Real Madrid and Paris Saint-Germain. But we begin here at home, and Sule Muntari has been speaking to an issue that has been making this, the, the news over the last few days. Muntari, remember, reportedly demanded to be captain in the Ghana game against Sudan. But the AC Milan midfielder has been telling TV3 the reports that he doesn't back as a Mojan as Black Stars captain are completely false. There's been also talk in the media recently um, about a row between you and Asamojan on the captaincy. I want you to clarify this. What is going on? No, there's nothing. Me and Asa are cool. Asa, Asa is, is, is my younger brother and, and and everything so with the cap captaincy there's no there's no there's no any problem there's no any problem with it so we we in camp the most important thing is that we stay together um we make sure uh we have a good team we have a fun camp and then we'll be able to win our all our games and stay together as a family that's the most important thing so whatever goes um outside the, the camp really it doesn't it doesn't matter to us so the IUs are coming back to the national team. Um, what do you make of that? Yeah, um, that's one am amazing news again. Um, having those two 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 guys back here is gonna al already it has made us strong. And a uh, lot of lot of countries are, are having doubt now. Even I think Zambia definitely they're gonna have doubt because these two guys are, are top players. They're young, but they're top players. So. Having them back is is one amazing thing, and we we're very pleased with with their decision. People go through a path that are sometimes rough, but they've been back now, showing showing their concern that they love the nation. That's that's amazing, and I'm speaking uh, from my heart and with 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 everything. So Sulu Muntari suggesting that reports of a captain zero between him and Asamoah completely false and backing the return of their use to the Black Stars. Let's get into issues concerning the Ghana coach, Kwesi Apia, who has warned his players that when everything is said and done, he is the man who will determine who gets into the team and who doesn't. Remember, the IU brothers have been courted to get back into the side by Ghana president John, uh, John Mahama, whilst Kevin Prince Watson has indicated he is prepared to play again. But Apia says that at the end of the day, the major determining factor will be who is prepared to put his body on the line for Ghana and who is not. I mean, the president never said that, you no, know, they should come back and wear a play, you no, know, play, uh, be in the first team. You know, the president said they should make themselves available. And for that reason, uh, that is what the president requested all those um, in, who, who have said that they don't want to play for the nation. And uh, once you make yourself available, um, you know, players will be invited up uh, depending on merit or uh, at that particular game that we're going to play. If we feel that you know, they will be of help for the nation, why not? You know, I'm, I'm just wondering, I'm just trying to get into your mind on a personal level. Were these retirements by their use, given your playing career with Abedi and everything, was the retirement by their use the most difficult thing that you had to deal with as Ghana coach so far? Personally, you know, I may be quiet, but I'm not quiet inside. You know, I, I always, I've never had any, all my life, you know, I don't, even those that have done wrong to me, if you look at my friends now, some people ask, why are you still working with this guy? You know, I always believe that no matter what anyone does, you know, you need to give him, you know, the second chance. And that is why people were, you know, since 92, people have start, you know, started, you know, thinking that I am about in, in loggerheads, which for me, it's never here or there. It's never been like that in the first place. Because um, since we stopped playing, we've been communicating. Whilst I was in London, we used to communicate. You know, and I, mean, I think in one of my interviews, I said last year alone, I visited him, his house about two, three times. <coughs> and, you know, 
the boys when they are in camp they call me daddy but you know it's important that you if if you now have a son and i that particular time i think no he can't be in the team he will not be in the team that is how it's, it's about work my work is not anybody's work and i'm looking at if you are my son and you know there are a set of rules that governs the team you should follow no matter what when we go off work it's different family issues you know, so for me this is my work and when it doesn't go well, it's me my head is being cut off and i don't joke with my work since i i don't know whether you saw me playing when i go on the pitch i'm a different person so it's a major major tough calls for kwasi appear to make when he picks his squad uh for that september world cup qualifier against zambia and he may have to take a few things from the global premier league that just ended on sunday into consideration kumasi asante kotoko league champions for a 22nd time we just put the global premier league that just ended in numbers 480 games played over the period when the league lasted in that period 513 goals scored so just above an average of one goal per one game and then if you come here the highest scoring team incredibly accra had so for, with 40 six goals so for all their problems david duncan sides uh by this these numbers the most entertaining side in terms of goals the longest unbeaten run came from kumasi asante kotoko who went 14 games unbeaten during the period and then the most goals conceded real tamale united with 73 goals in 30 games real tamale united also incidentally picked up the least points for any side in the history of the premier league when they picked up only two points over the period of the competition and then just to lay around by you the top scorers in the league Accra Hearts of Folks Mahatmo to contributed 20 of those 46 goals scored by the phobia so almost 50 percent of the goals that the phobia scored no wonder they call him Farkao at Accra Hearts of Folk Kennedy Asher of Liberty Professionals had 14 goals Yakubu Mohammed um, from Ashanti Gold who could be on his way to Orlando Pirates in South Africa scored 14 Francis now the Tamayit player who is with the black satellites in Turkey at the moment scored 12 whilst Yaya Mohammed got 12 as well the rest of the numbers on your screen at the moment now let's go over to taking out where ghana's hopes of progress in the world under 20 tournament is hanging by a thread after a second straight defeat to spain the black satellites missed several chances as they lost one nil to suffer their second defeat of the tournament it leaves the side in real danger of becoming the first ghanaian side to exit the tournament at the group stage but there's still a glimmer of hope for the satellites with 16 sides due in the second round ghana can still qualify as one of the four best placed third place sides to do that they must beat the u USA heavily and hope results elsewhere go the away. Ghana's worst performance at the World Youth Cup has been a quarter-final exit in 1998.